Hey everyone, it's your girl Layla. Welcome back to my channel. No matter what they say, I'll stay by your side. It's you. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about my dupe for the Peloton bike. So what gave me the idea to do this video is I'm part of a bunch of these like groups on Facebook for people that live around me to like ask questions and stuff like that. And somebody was asking if the Peloton bike was worth it and if it's not what they would recommend otherwise. So I basically wrote up a paragraph on what I thought of this bike that I recently purchased from Amazon. I basically was like, oh yeah, I really like the bike that I got on Amazon and it's this much, blah, blah, blah. Also led me into a YouTube hole and just looking up videos on the Peloton and just seeing kind of like what the difference is. So I stumbled upon Carrie Drayton's video and this apparently is a thing. It's a thing to buy a Peloton dupe bike on Amazon and kind of like upgrade your rig and basically create a homemade Peloton for a fraction of the cost. This wasn't my initial intention when I purchased this Amazon bike. Let me just tell you why I ended up purchasing this bike on Amazon. So last year when the pandemic first started and all of the gyms closed, I was like, oh, like his spin is my thing. I'm always going to spin classes, whether it be like in-person spin classes in a spin studio or going to my gym and doing like the virtual spin classes, which is what I actually do now on my bike. So last year when the pandemic started and all the gyms closed, I was kind of at a loss. I was like, okay, it's way too cold to be working out, to be running outside or anything like that. Honestly, the at-home workouts and stuff on YouTube are kind of boring and kind of really just not my thing. I wasn't motivated to do them or anything. So I ended up looking online on seeing what like the best spin bike was. And that's when I first stumbled upon the Peloton. And I'd seen ads on YouTube for it, but I always just skip through ads. Please don't skip my ads, by the way. I am a small YouTuber. But anyways, so I've seen ads for the Peloton before and I saw it online and I was like, oh, that would be a really good option just to buy a spin bike, have a home setup, and then, you know, I would just work out every day here. That was all fine and dandy until I found out the price of a Peloton and I kind of died inside. I was just like, wow, that's really expensive. And a lot of people in my area, a lot of people in my area where I live, the suburban moms that live here own Pelotons. And they've talked about it in groups and saying how much it's worth it and all of that stuff. And I'm just like, I really cannot justify that price. You know, if you're doing that well in your life that you can afford a Peloton plus the monthly membership, you're doing really well. But for me personally, I just cannot afford that. Let's actually price a Peloton bike, shall we? Let's go into the Peloton website and price it. Just the bike by itself, it's $2,495 Canadian. And then you have to buy like the shoes because this is the type of bike where you require like those cleats that clip you in. So if you want the set with the cleats as well as weights that is 2695 and then if you want the mat that goes underneath the bike and then the accessories on top of that like the cleats weights there's like a wristband thing that is 2795 and then the bike family with just like all of the gear that they offer is $3045 so monthly there's prices and I've thought about this too because there's a monthly price that you can pay which is $64 per month for just the bike and then for the $3,000 set you can pay $79 a month so you basically can finance your bike plus you have to pay into the membership per month. I will I'll just include the price per month point here so it's the cost of your bike plus this every single month and that is just a lot of money. So my gym reopened and I'm like, okay, it's probably not gonna close again, whatever. So I start going back to the gym, start doing my spin classes. Back in November, they suspended all group classes. So that included spin classes, which is so weird because at my gym, the actual like virtual spin classes, I would be the only person in the room. Like usually anytime I would go to the gym, it would just be me 
everybody would just be doing their own thing and I would be in the spin room doing my workouts. So I thought it was weird. Okay, so just like at the gym, I have some Clorox wipes to wipe down the bike because I haven't used it in a little while and it's kind of dusty. Okay, so best part of the bike, it fits my full-size Nalgene water bottle in the holder. Just like that. It fits perfectly, which I need a liter of water every time I use this because I sweat a lot. Okay, so my setup looks like this. I have my iPad right here so I can watch you know, things while I'm working out. I used to have the Les Mills app on here. I still do, but I don't have the subscription anymore. But if you wanted a subscription, Les Mills is my favorite. And I have this little mount right here. This is my old Huawei phone. But basically, I screen recorded one of the Les Mills workouts on here so I have it still left over and that's what I'm gonna do today so that is my little setup sorry for the squeaky shoes these are from DH gate <laughs> so it looks like that definitely you know resembles a Peloton and it's been oh look Morgan's over there Just staring at me yeah <laughs> So I don't like her being around the spin bike while I'm working out because uh, she likes to kind of lick around the flywheel and stuff like that while I'm working out and that's super dangerous. So that's why she's in there. But yeah, that is the bike. That's my Peloton, makeshift Peloton from Amazon and I love it. It's been three years and it's still going good. I'm gonna use it right now and I'm gonna kind of time lapse my workout for you. So I actually went online and if you were to basically upgrade your Amazon bike, you would be spending an extra $796, which is still doesn't even come close to the price of a Peloton. Talking about, I went on Amazon and I didn't cheap out on the upgrade, so I added a gooseneck tablet stand, which is $32 because the Peloton has that screen that you can rotate in any direction you want. I also added an iPad mini, which is $529, which is, you know, it's not completely necessary. You could use your phone as a screen. You could use other things as a screen. I already have an iPad. If you didn't have one and you really wanted that, you know, like bigger screen or whatever. So I added the stand, I added an iPad mini. I also added the RPM bike cadence sensor, which I don't find necessary at all. This was $60 for this particular one and it's like the higher end version. You can get cheaper ones on Amazon. You can also get cheaper tablet mounts. I just picked one that was better quality, I would say. I chose the Wahoo RPM bike cadence sensor and I also picked the Vesno RX bicycle women's cycling shoes. What the shoes come with is they come with the attachment that clips onto your bike pedal. So it comes with the bike pedal attachment and the shoes and that was $176. So with all of those add-ons together, you pretty much have built yourself a Peloton. I picked the DMA Sun. I think that's how you say it. I don't know how else you would say it, but I picked that specific bike on Amazon and it was kind of in the middle. Like it wasn't the cheapest spin bike and it also wasn't the most expensive spin bike. I did the middle because like I said, I like to look at reviews and stuff like that. And this one had the best reviews. There was one review that was so hilarious that I was looking at that said, people that buy Pelotons only buy it to post on Instagram. And this bike is like, it's gonna do the same thing as a Peloton essentially. Like it is gonna give you the same effect if you train really hard and if you do these workouts and stuff like that. It's gonna basically do the same thing, give you the same effect, but you're not paying $3,000 for it. I'm gonna go with the pros and cons of buying the DMA Sun versus the Peloton. So first things first, the pros of course is the cost. You're not spending $3,000 on a spin bike. Second of all, it's 
very sturdy like compared to the bikes at my gym this one doesn't shake and wobble around at all which i love it does have a water bottle holder that holds my one liter water bottle which is awesome i haven't had any issues with it so far it's really quiet really nice bike was somewhat easy to put together i obviously didn't put it together myself and he put it together for me but he said it was easy to put together it took him probably about 25 to 30 minutes after like unpacking everything and putting it together which is not bad at all also with prime this bike came relatively quickly it came within three days and it came from new york so if you're buying a peloton be prepared to wait months if not weeks for the bike to come i think that the minimum wait time for a peloton is six weeks and it can go even longer so the good thing about the Amazon one is it comes to you relatively quickly and you don't have to pay for shipping and all of that because it's prime. My cons on the bike, which is not really cons, but the differences with the DMA Sun and the Peloton is, like I said, all of the additions that are not included on the DMA Sun, like the swivel screen thing. It doesn't have that, it doesn't have a screen, so you would use your iPad or phone or whatever, which is fine, but that could be a con for you. Hopefully I helped you out on deciding if you should buy a Peloton or an Amazon dupe. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I will see you guys Actually, I'll see you guys in the next clip because this video is not over yet. Hey guys, so I wanted to sort of conclude this video because I know I filmed the beginning footage, I think back in 2021, beginning of 2021 or beginning of 2022, I have no idea, but I started filming this video ages ago and I wanted to basically conclude the video. I knew I was going to need some more time after filming the first bit because I think it was right around the time where I first got my spin bike. I have definitely made some tweaks and stuff here and there regarding the bike and I'm giving you guys basically just a I guess three year update. I think I've had this bike now for three years because I got it in the beginning of 2021. So yeah, I've had this bike for three years. I still use it. I'm trying to be more consistent and do more spin classes. There's definitely been times where I have not used it for long periods of time. Definitely been getting back into it more since the weather has not been great here. When we had our polar vortex and everything when it was minus 35, I definitely opted for indoor workouts versus going outside and working out. So I have been using the spin bike a lot more often lately. I've re-signed up for Les Mills Plus to just you know get some more classes in and that sort of thing and I've been really enjoying it. I feel like I lost a ton of weight when I was doing spin classes consistently. I was doing them up to like between five, six times a week and I really noticed the results back then. I'm in the place where I feel like I've gained weight. I have gained weight. I've gained more like muscle mass. I'm more leaner now, but I also just, definitely enjoy my cardio i definitely love spin and i'd like to see my weight like go down a little bit more i'd like that to happen I'd like to be at the weight that i started off as so i have a ways to go i'm definitely going to be doing more spin classes especially now that i've signed up for les mills again it's it bills you by year. I don't know if I'll keep it after the free trial, but I do have a free trial up until February 22nd. So I'm just gonna keep going, seeing how it is and everything like that. I know that this is supposed to be a spin bike review. Okay, so after three years, what I've noticed with this bike, I haven't had like any wear and tear issues really at all. I know that one particular time, I don't know if I noted this in the beginning part of the video, but the only issues that I've ever had was one of the screws by the pedal was loose. I literally fixed that myself. I think I got Andy to get a screwdriver and like really tighten it. Around the pedal and stuff, it got loose. So just, I don't know if that's like a user error or like a building error or anything like that. I don't know if that's something that normally happens, but just when you put your bike together, make sure everything is super, super tight. Make sure 
you know, even after you make sure that it's super tight, go over it again and make sure that it's really, really tightened. Everything looks good and all of that stuff after you build your bike. So that's the only issue I had and that like affected the pedal in a way where basically the basket where it was like around my foot got really, really tight and my foot kind of almost got stuck in the pedal because of that. So that was the only issue I had. Once we tightened it up and everything, it's been a year and a half maybe or longer since that's happened and i've had no issues with it since knock on wood i've had no issues with this bike so is it 100 percent worth it yes it's 100 percent worth getting i believe that it might be smaller than the peloton because it's smaller than the bikes at my gym so i go to a different gym now and i find that when I go on this bike, I'm a lot more comfortable. Like the seat is definitely a lot more comfortable than the bikes at my gym. I hate the bikes at my gym. They're bigger, but they hurt your butt. They really hurt your butt. So I do like this one because it's definitely more comfortable. Definitely, you know, saves on space. It's not a huge, huge, huge bike. And I like the fact that you can just tweak it, add some things and everything like that. And you've basically gotten yourself a Peloton. This bike is even cheaper these days. It was on sale around Boxing Day for around $360. So basically almost half price than what I bought it for. I don't know if it went back up in price, but this brand, DMA Sun, they have new bikes that are supposedly like new and improved and everything like that, but I've had no issues. I'm not gonna be upgrading this bike anytime soon. So as you guys can see, this thing actually still works, which is good. I've had this for so long. I haven't changed the batteries and I just used the batteries that it came with. I am. I'm at 43 minutes and nine seconds into my workout and it's intense you guys I miss doing this every day I drink like literally almost 800 mils of water so it's been a great workout so that is all for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was like basically three years in the making of me doing this video, but that's basically how you can get a Peloton bike for super cheap on Amazon or a Peloton inspired bike, I should say. And yeah, that is all for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye. I'll let you know